What's up, everybody? So, this video was inspired by a conversation that I had with my friends. They're talking about how <laughs> they would rank Iron Man above Thor. And I'm just like, you guys read comics, you know this is not true. And to demonstrate, and I, I'm actually going to make a series to show everybody the, the different times that Thor and Iron Man have come head to head. Not that, not that many times, but it has happened. And basically, every time, Thor has schooled him. And from my recollection, this is the closest that their battle has been. And so I'm going to start with this one. So you guys could get a better understanding of why these two giants are, you know, going head to head when they're usually on the same side of thinking, the same point of thinking, whatever the saying is. <laughs> um, basically, in Sokovia, people started, you know, they saw that. A god is real, that god being Thor from the Norse mythology. is like, oh shit, he's a god, so let's pray to him. So, throughout the story, they're called a cult, but they don't really have cult actions. It's just like a new religion, basically. And in this religion, they praise to Thor. And they're like, please, Thor, we need your help. We're not living all that good. And Heimdall, he sees all, hears all um, throughout the universe. He hears their cries for Thor all the time from multiple people. And so he confronts Thor with this information. And Thor is basically like, yo, these people need my help. And at this time, he is sitting on the throne of Asgard. But even before that, when he was a young child, probably not a child, but way younger, like thousands of years ago, um, his father gave him the title of protector of Earth. And so he's like, you know what, I got to go protect the people that I was, you know, given the the jurisdiction over to protect them. That's my duty. So he goes down and he starts fighting the Sokovian army because basically what happens in our own history, they start believing in different religion. The authorities don't, the high authorities don't like that. And basically they start killing them off. Yes, their own army is killing them off because they believe Thor is the god. You know, the god is standing white right in front of them all the time. And so Thor sends his soldiers down to fight them. Only four of them, really. That Yes, that's how strong the Asgardians are. And they're easily taking care of the Sokovian soldiers. Thor, you know, being a god, he starts ruling over his people. But it's not like in a... Like, he's a tyrant in any tyranny way. He's just ruling for their benefits, basically. He's helping them out and stuff like that so that they won't really have to go through all these troubles. But the U.S. government, they don't want it to get to Thor's head and him possibly start ruling over the whole world. So what they do is contact Iron Man, one of his allies that's powerful enough, but they could actually control, unlike the Hulk to confront him, and he does. Real quick, I gotta talk about Doctor Doom too, because he does make a few small appearances in the storyline due to Sokovia being r right close to his kingdom, that being Latveria, and he contacts Iron Man, he's basically saying, if you don't handle it, then I'm going to handle it, and you, don't, you won't like it if I handle it. And yes, I guess that is kind of true, but really, he's just here to antagonize the fight. And it's basically like that dude in the school fight who's like, Yo, he's talking shit about your mom or something. Like, some shit like that. He's just making them more mad and want to fight each other even more. During the conversation Doom and Iron Man had, um, Iron Man was given the idea to use one of the energy sources that Thor has given to him and fuse with the power of his father. To make an armor powerful enough to combat Thor himself. And yes, is imbued with the power of Odin. But this time, Odin has basically retired from the throne. And Thor is the new king. <laughs> yes, this is King Thor. So now he has the Thor force. And I guess you could make the argument. If he didn't have the Thor force, then Iron Man would stomp him. But hey, he didn't, okay? Thor has his Thor force. So that's the only way that I would say, okay, maybe he could have beaten him. But still... Um, he has the power, so shut up. So Iron Man pulls up on Thor's new acclaimed territory, and they start squaring up, and they both go in, you know, for their own hits. 
And surprisingly, Iron Man is the one who was able to get the first hit, knocking Thor down. Thor gets up and tries to throw his hammer at him, but Iron Man is able to hold the hammer and it drops. Iron Man's looking real good in this fight so far. Yes, I will admit that. Thor just says screw the hammer and just hits hit Iron Man in the face with his bare hands and tossing him back. Iron Man, in desperation, blasts Thor, stands up, and now they're having a beam battle. But, and then, as you can see here, Iron Man is struggling. But, Iron Man's able to absorb Thor's blast, so he's like, you know what? Let me just fly through his beam and try to tackle him. They're continually going blow for blow, hitting each other back and forth. When Thor just slams Iron Man on, through the ground, not even on it, just through it. Iron Man tries to um, fly towards Thor, but Thor just looks at him like, you're a bug to me, you're you're nothing, you're a child. And once again, Iron Man readies to beam, blast him again, and Thor is just unfazed and starts, you know, they start going back and forth. They start um, going for blow for blow, throwing each other back and forth. Um, and they punch each other's attack. And like anime or just fiction in general, this attack blows everything else back. Oh yeah, Captain America's in the story. The next part of the story starts with Captain America remembering how they first joined each other and had a good friendship. And just, just talking about some bullshit. And then it gets back into the fight. While Captain America is over here trying to get everything together because he's probably concussed. Thor just grabs Tony and Tony's able to whack him back actually once again. But he's back where he started. Thor just starts whamming him again. And Captain America is just trying to get close to them so that he could somehow find a way to stop these two. But Thor just giving a beat down to Tony. And Captain America starts talking to I um Thor, trying to get even closer and closer. But Thor is like, what do you want, Captain America? While he's having a conversation with Captain America, he just casually throws aside Iron Man, <laughs> and Iron Man, you know, his new suit that is powerful enough to take on Thor gets destroyed, so he needs to eject from it, and he tries to do, um, convince Captain America to 2v1 Thor, but Captain America is just like, nah, bro, he's a god, we're not going to be able to damage him at all. And then Doom, as persistent as ever, he's trying to basically cause a war and keep the Avengers separated so that they wouldn't be united to take him on even though solo they could do that but he's just trying to cause interference into his plans so he hacks into one of the military's cannons and he shoots the heroes but the two mortals are the only ones going flying back and thor just stands there like are you guys serious and he goes to take out the military but captain america stops him and thor just yeets his shit across the battlefield and at this moment is when Thor actually realizes what he's doing is wrong. After he dents Captain America's shield and leaves him with a bloody nose, he's like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Captain America is like, damn, bro, you're really gonna go this far and try to kill your friends? And because it, it you know, Thor's brain cells connected, he, he comes to his senses and he... You know, fixes Thor's shield, I mean, Captain America's shield for him by hammering it back together. Overall, this was a good story, and I do think that, you know, that these are valid reasons on why they would fight each other. And it's kind of in sync with their characters, who they are, they didn't really go off. Um, I think they just wanted to make it interesting, have them battle each other. And as you can see, Thor just ultimately destroyed Iron Man. Now, but in all seriousness, Iron Man did put up a good fight, and really, yeah, if it wasn't for Captain America, Iron Man would probably be dead, because he was angry enough to dent his seal 